This week on Dance of Joy, we talk about cookies, egg rolls, and emotional manipulation. All that and more as we watch season six, episode three of our favorite 80s hit sitcom, Perfect Strangers. Hello and welcome to Dance of Joy, a Perfect Strangers rewatch podcast. My name is Sophia. I'm one of your hosts. And joining me as always is my co-host, your co-host, our co everybody's co-host, and my brother. What's up, Imran? Wait, what's going on? You have a new co-host? <laughs> you, you are everybody's co-host. My cousin listener. Hope you are well. Uh, I'm good. You know, uh, Taylor Swift is in town here yep. in Chicago playing sold out three massive shows. Yep. I kind of thought you'd be there. You're not a Swift Me? Yeah, those tickets were like three. I'm not a Swifty, first of all. I think I'm too old to be a Swifty, and secondly, those tickets were like a zillion dollars. They were a lot of money, and people are camping out on the day before yeah, just to just get, to get merch good seats. And yeah, get, and they're camping oh, merch. out there, yeah. dude. Swifties, it's out of control. You could feel her energy. Uh, I'm not a Swifty either, but you have to appreciate. Uh, her business acumen and the fact that she re-records every day. And apparently at her shows, she does like 40 songs. She puts on a heck of a show from yeah. what I'm told. So good for her. I mentioned this because Taylor Swift, uh, she may have a couple of songs about relationships, yeah. about breakups and heartaches. It's her. And comings together. It's her. Hi, she's the problem. It's, it's me. <laughs> uh, oh, that's the TikTok song. Oh, that's yes. the Taylor. Yeah. No, look, she's great. But, uh, you know, sometimes she's singing about people falling in love, falling out of love. Oh, very topical. I, very topical in intro Long chatter. Way to get to season six, episode three. The breakup. Of Perfect Strangers titled The Breakup. The oh. Breakup. What is oh, this dear. episode about? Well, the TV Guide description read, Larry leaves Jennifer in the dark about their relationship when he approves of her date with an old beau. Ooh, I'm not surprised. I feel the cringe factor for this Ooh. episode is going to be high. Yep. Get ready. Uh, of course, we have our phenomenal cast. Bronson Pinchot as Balky, Marklin Baker as Larry, Melanie Wilson as Jennifer, and Rebecca Arthur as Marianne. Yep. Uh, a couple of guest cast small bits we will get to later. This episode aired on October 12, 1990. Of course, you can follow along, binge along, as every episode of Perfect Strangers is streaming on Amazon Freebie. It's free. Freebie. It's right there in the a title. Lot of fun Freebie. Stuff. While you're over there, also uh, check out Jury Duty. Fantastic yes. show. Okay, but back to Perfect Strangers. Here we go. Act one of this episode. We begin in the apartment, and Larry is at the kitchen counter sitting on a stool, and we're back with an old gag that, that we've seen before, but not for a while. Yes. The, He's dunking a cookie into his cup of warm beverage. Yes, the balance of how long to dunk a cookie into liquid before, so just so it softens enough, but not too much, that it breaks and falls off. Larry has been searching. And we've never seen him succeed. It always formula. falls. Yes, this time, though. This time, he comes close to succeeding, but just as he's about to put the cookie in his mouth, Balky runs in to the apartment, and he's dressed head to toe in a white chef's uniform. As a chef, with a hat and everything. Yeah, with a hat, and he says... Um, and he's got a tray, like a casserole tray covered in foil of something, of food that he's cooked. And he runs to the counter. And just as Larry's about to put, take a bite of the cookie, he grabs the cookie out of Larry's hands and tosses it and in the middle of the room it away like a Larry. soggy, wet cookie. And he it just wasn't throws. Gonna, it wasn't going to break. Larry had yeah, it. Yeah, he, he almost did had it, it but he's timing. foiled. And no. speaking of foil, Balky's <laughs> very excited and he peels the aluminum foil back from the top of this casserole dish. And he's like, cousin, cousin, try this. I made it in my cooking class. Everybody loved it. Cooking class. So he's oh, in a cooking class. A he, cooking we know he class. cooks a lot, but yeah, he's actually in a cooking there's class. There's a lot of baking. There's Bibby Bobka's. He's always yeah. making pig snout. But now he's trying to refine his skills. That's amazing. Uh, and, and Larry looks at it. We can't really see it, but he just looks at it. He goes, egg rolls. Uh, and Larry goes, well. They look safe enough. Yeah. <laughs> and he so condescending. reluctantly yeah. takes one and bites into it. And he's surprised. He goes, Bucky, these are the best egg rolls I ever had. He says, they're delicious. <laughs> and then Balky says, well, as my cooking teacher, Mr. De Rigueur De says, Rigueur. cuisine. And he puts on this French accent. <laughs> he says, cuisine is an art. That's why we call it 
cuisine art. Okay, that's kind of funny. That's a funny, funny little cuisine art joke. Also, de rigueur, French... de rigueur what does in that mean? French means strictly. Oh, Mr. Strictly. I don't strictly. know if there was some joke being made there with his name. Uh, yeah, okay. That's interesting. So you have some uh, polylingual yeah. <laughs> knowledge. Uh, and so, but uh, Larry asks an interesting question. He goes, uh, what gives it that sort of bittersweet taste? And Bucky's like, oh, well, first he goes, oh, cause it a chef is never supposed to reveal the secrets <laughs> in his French accent. But he goes, he added a Miposi in delicacy. delicacy. And at first he goes, I didn't think you guys had it in this country. And I found it down by the lake in a grocery store called Ned's Bait Shop. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not a grocery store. That's a bait shop. <laughs> it's a bait shop. And Larry drops the anchor. He goes, Ned's Bait Shop. And then Bucky goes, yeah, Ned had no produce, but all his but his meat case was stunning. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What is happening? And then at this point, what Larry is in the egg picks rolls? up a tissue and starts wiping his, it, his tongue. tongue with the tissues. So there's uh, some kind worms? of li- snails. Snails, what worms. What do you think? He, he walked in there bait. thinking it was a grocery store going, oh, this is amazing. Apparently they're delicious, yeah. whatever's ah. in there. <laughs> Just cooking with exotic proteins, Balky is. is uh, yeah. I like that. It's very, He's very ahead of his time. Yeah, Wait till he top, finds out about crickets. It's very Top Chef. Like, Balky, you could have made it on Top Chef. <laughs> Uh, and just then there's a knock at the door and it's Jennifer and Larry oh, answers hi. the door and greets her. And then Balky comes running over to offer her some egg rolls a la <laughs> mi-pois, he calls it. <laughs> and Jennifer at first is really is excited so and she her hand goes to take one. She's like, oh, thank you. But just as she's reaching, Larry's like doing the like he's like giving no, her, no 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 yeah, no don't he's like gesturing to her to stick to not eat them <laughs> and then she was like she goes um she was about to take one she's like oh thank you balky i and then she's like i just stay he's like no 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 and then balky's like okay maybe later they really should curdle for about an hour they should curdle and then he's, he's walking away he's looking at his face he goes Get back in there. Get stay. 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 What Something's is moving. Something's crawling it's out of the live puff paste. bait in the wow, egg this rolls. This is very experimental. Didn't they get? Didn't they get killed when they when he cooked the egg rolls? I guess those are some tough worms. <laughs> you can't kill worms. They just cut them in half and they regenerate. It's crazy. All right. So Jennifer has come to ask Larry something. That's the setup. We're just taking a while to get there. Jennifer has come to ask Larry something. She tells him she got a call from an old college friend who wants to have dinner with her on Friday night. Oh. And then she looks at him and she goes, but I'd be happy to say no if you want me to. Okay. And Larry immediately says, no, no, don't be silly. Have dinner with your friend. What's her name? <laughs> and and Jennifer goes, Bill Madden. It's a strange dun, name. Dun, dun. <laughs> okay, what's her name? Bill Madden. And yeah, it sounds like a football video That's game. John, Ma- John Madden is, okay. the, is the football guy. Right. Yeah. Bill, maybe relation. I don't maybe. Know. Bill Madden. John's cousin. And Larry's like, oh, that's a guy. And she says, I can tell him no if you want me to. Okay, that's second time she said that. And Larry says, absolutely not. And he goes, uh, like totally trying to justify it to himself more so than her. Oh, so you have dinner with a guy who sat next to you in zoology lab. Big deal. Then Jennifer drops this. Actually, I dated Bill for four oh, years. Boy. Larry's trying really hard not to show his feelings and show that this is bothering him. He looks shocked. But yes. then again, she gives him a third I, out. But I, I can, can tell, tell him, him no if you want me to. Three times she said that. And three times Larry says no. No, 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 no. He's an old friend. Have dinner with him. I insist. You insist? You wouldn't be upset, Jennifer says. And Larry's like, oh, no, no. He goes, what does he say? He goes, no, no, no. Have a good time. Say hello to Bill for me. Classic move when He's you're being bo- trying so to show. He's cool about it, bothered. but really. And Jennifer is a little confused, and it seems um, disappointed. And she goes, okay, bye, Larry. And she turns and she leaves. You could tell that this this answer, bought, this reaction bothered Jennifer. And she leaves, and as soon as Larry shuts the front door behind her, <laughs> oh. he turns back inward to the apartment to Balky, and he starts crying, I want to die. Yeah, he breaks I want to die. Immediately. He just breaks down. Balky's like, very oh, what, pain. What's wrong with you? what is wrong with you? And Larry's like, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? He goes, I'll tell you what is wrong with me. Jennifer is going out with her old boyfriend. And Balky's like, oh, is that all? And he starts to walk away. 
And Larry has to tell him that it's, he pulls him back and explains that that's a horrible thing. And he doesn't want Jennifer to see another a guy to which Balky is very confused because he, they go and sit on the couch and he's like, he has, he just heard just like Larry. We did. Just like we did. Just like we did. <laughs> tell Jennifer it's okay. And Balky being, you know, like straightforward, innocent, Balky says, if you don't want her to go, why didn't you just say why so? Why you don't just say no? Why you don't just say no? <laughs> And here is the clincher, the ultimate Larry line. He says, Balky, the woman I love tells me she wants to go out with another man and you expect me to say no? <laughs> Balky's like, yeah, exactly. And Larry's like, what? Do you think I'm stupid? Balky, now Balky's very confused. Very confused. He goes, is this a trick question? <laughs> and Larry says, look, it's very simple. And he starts to explain. Larry explain. This is how he Larry explains. Jennifer is a woman of the 90s. And Belgi goes, 90s? I would have guessed late 20s tops. I like that joke. That's funny. Nice like guy. Like woman of the 90s. Not a woman in her 90s. A woman, <laughs> woman of, of the, the 90s. 90s. What does that mean? Well, he continues. He, and this is a funny line because he says, if you read any of those women's magazines, you know that what she wants is a man of the 90s. So he's been reading Is these he magazines. reading women's magazines? He's reading Vogue exactly. in 1990. Interesting. And then Belky goes, oh, well, cousin, in 60 years, you'll be a man in your 90s and all your problems will be solved. <laughs> <laughs> Not a man in his 90s, a man of the 90s. And what is a man of the 90s like? Well, a man of the 90s isn't possessive no? or jealous. Okay. And if Larry had told Jennifer he didn't want her to go on the date, she would have thought he was possessive and jealous. And he says, and then she would have dumped me, gone out with another man, and I'd be miserable. And B B Belky rightfully points out my cousin, she is going out with another man, and you are miserable. And Larry's like, I know that. That's how you keep a woman in the 90s. Haven't you understood a word I've said? And at this point, Belky is his head hurts, and he asks if there's any aspirin. Yeah. <laughs> because he just can't follow any of this logic. And then we see something very new and different for this show. Larry starts to tell him, let me explain it again. It's very simple. And then we cut away. It's not just a scene a transition. Cut, jump we to... cut away to the parallel universe of the girls' the apartment. The girls' apartment. We get to see inside the girl. We don't so get to see the, the girls' apartment. So we're in the same point in the timeline. Yes. Nothing. We haven't jumped forward or anything. It's not a it's scene a, change. Right. It's a it's cut a to cut the away. same moment. Yeah. The time continuing upstairs. It's just right. a hard cut, which is, you're right. It's usually some kind it's of cross change, or location but not change at the with same. With time has passed. Yeah. But this is weird. But I love seeing the girls' apartment. So we see we the girls' see apartment, yeah. um, and Marianne is on the couch painting her toenails because that's uh, what comes to mind apparently when you're like, "What would a woman be doing in her apartment?" Well, I mean, they got to paint their toenails, toenails at some point, course. right? It might as well yeah. be now. Uh, what is she doing? They're not watching TV or anything. And then Jennifer storms in, as if just come back up from that encounter downstairs. And she goes, Larry Appleton is a jerk. What? <laughs> oh, boy. A jerk. And Marion's like, it didn't go well. <laughs> and Jennifer explains that she asked him if he would. All I did was ask him if he would mind if I had dinner with another man. Do you know what he had the nerve to say to me? I insist. Have a good time. Say hello to Bill for me. <laughs> and she goes, I could just shake him till his teeth rattle. Why is she so bothered? Well, here it comes. She says, I've been dating Larry for over three years, and I still don't know where our relationship is going. You and all of the viewers, Jennifer, yeah. like we still don't even understand this relationship. constantly ask this question. Is she even really is into him? Is she even into him? But now she's playing these games to get him to- And Marion, straight shooter like Balky, right? This yeah. is why we love Marion and Balky. She goes, well, Marianne says, I think you should just ask him. You should just ask him. Okay, great piece of advice. Goes right in one- Jennifer's ear and out the other as Jennifer yes. goes, I know what I'll do. I'll tell Larry I want to date other people. He'll have to say no. Then I'll know how he really feels. Thanks a lot, Marianne. You always give me such good advice. But she didn't even listen so to advice. So she goes from playing a game to, to playing, playing a bigger game. game. Yeah. She, I, Larry can't read her like, mind. Why can't, why can't she just ask him what she wants to know? They're both guilty for similar things. Yeah. Uh, fun, the fun little production notes in the, the girl's apartment, because I think this is only the 
second, second time, time but it's a little different, it. isn't it? No, well, they changed the wallpaper. It seems like they changed the yeah, furniture. Yeah, they had a little that bit. like same stri- before everything was that same wallpaper everywhere. That was the '80s. This is the '90s. Oh, you got to upgrade. '90s. You got to yeah. you got to get hit with the times. But the best thing is if you look carefully yeah. in in frames around the apartment are sitting promotional. Photos of Bronson Pinchot. Headshots. Like headshots. And of- Marklin Baker. <laughs> uh, Balky's in the corner. He's in color. And I think that Marklin Baker's is black and white for like, some reason. Uh, behind the so couch. So presumably these girls have photos of their boyfriend's headshots yeah. up in their apartment. But the boys don't have I photos any of their girlfriends. Of Mary and Mary. Maybe in their bedrooms. I don't they know. They do oh, have oh. a framed picture of Dimitri, but not of their girlfriend. Yeah. Well, Dimitri doesn't <laughs> judge or play mind games, does he? So then <laughs> we space jump back to the... The guy's apartment. And Larry's still explaining yeah. uh, a woman of, of the 90s and and his philosophy about giving her complete and freedom. Balky's like with an ice pack on his head. It's, well, it's a great shot because first you see Balky sit, Larry sitting there talking and then Balky just comes, steps in the shot, sits down and he has that cartoony ice pack on his head. Yeah. Because Larry's saying things like, by giving her complete freedom, I'm ensuring she'll be mine forever. <laughs> now do you understand? And Bucky's like, perhaps you could recommend some reference material <laughs> on the subject because he does not understand at all. Neither do, do we. And Larry starts to say, let me put it another way. <laughs> and... Balky goes, please, any other way. <laughs> but working. they don't have a chance because there's another knock at the door and it's Jennifer and she's back. Oh, boy. And Larry um, brings her in and she says, there's something else we need to talk about. Whoa. And so Larry says, Balky, we need to be alone. And Balky, with the ice pack on his head, exhausted, goes, cousin, you're right. Jennifer, could you excuse us, please? <laughs> That's fantastic. And of course, he meant no Jennifer and he <laughs> and Larry needed to be alone. And Balky says, well, then I should be the one to leave. And Larry just goes, yes. <laughs> and Balky's like, I don't know why you make everything so complicated. Very true. He could have just said Balky leave. That one, that one line uh, describes this whole yeah, series. Episode. This whole yeah. show. Yeah. I don't know why you have to make things so complicated. Yeah. As uh, Balky gets up and goes to his room. And now Jennifer's got to ask the big question. She's going to play the games here. She goes, Larry, we've been seeing each other for three years. Larry says, yes. Uh, yes, and then have. suddenly, Balky just walks out of the bedroom again. This is weird, dude. And goes, cousin, we have to talk. Steps in between them and in the middle of the conversation. And he goes, I'll meet you at the lamp. And he gooses Larry in the butt, apparently, yeah. is what it looks like. He, he pinches just squeezes, him. pinches his bottom. And then Balky steps away and Larry's like, I'm sorry. I have to talk to him. If I don't, he'll hold his breath. I wonder uh, if that <laughs> butt pinch was improvised. Yes, because it's just very weird. He just... Yeah, if I don't listen to him, he'll hold his breath like a child or something. So he goes over to the lamp, and uh, you know how distance works in sitcom world, right? They walk from one end of the couch to the other, and they're apparently out of earshot from Jennifer. Anything they say, Jennifer does not hear. They're in a cone of silence. They're about six feet over to her left. Yes. So this is another weird thing. When Balky starts talking, he has in his hand like a, a a plastic egg. Which uh, used to be the shell for this toy called Silly Putty. Yeah, there's a lot of toys in this episode. Yeah, that he's playing with. a lot of old. So Silly, Silly Putty. Putty for our younger listeners. How do you describe well, it? Well, before video games and the internet, <laughs> you had a piece of rubber goo that really all you did was stretch it around and pull and it. Make prints of. You could press it against card- newsprint, and it would lift. Comic strips. Yeah, it would lift the newsprint out, and it came in a little like Easter egg. Uh, kind of, but this was our toy, people. Yeah, it, you just, it, you it was like it, you the consistency it. of chewed gum. Yeah, it wasn't soft like um, slime or anything. It was the consistency of it was, chewed but gum. it was there was something very soothing about it. And it's yeah. almost like you know they have those pressure squeeze things yeah, now. It's kind of yeah. like that. But you could like stretch it and toy. pull it and make yeah. it stringy and roll it up and squish it back and make imprints of your like favorite a, car. Yeah, true. It's a weird thing. It, it was an accident. It was like a byproduct of this rubber company and they, oh, nice. they discovered it by accident and make a, made it a big toy. I wonder if we could still find Silly Putty in oh, plastic eggs somewhere. Maybe in the, 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 uh, yeah, the throwback toy shops. All right. So Balky says he was just putting his Silly Putty back in his head in, his, in the egg when he had a realization. And he says, now I know that some things are very personal and there are times when a person shouldn't interfere. In fact, on Mipos, we have a saying. Oh, Miposian saying. Oh, here goes a Miposian saying. He says, Kongi Fongi fongi Lavi, Andre Baba Dravi, Oh Popo Polopi. Just don't be so dopey. Just don't be so dopey. That part's English. And then... (laughs) 
there's a big audience laugh. <laughs> and after yes, a no beat, piece, no piece. this is what I love. Larry repeats it exactly Perfectly. with the accent is, yeah. uh, and everything. Kongi fongi lavi, Andre baba dravi, och popo polopi, just on biso dopey. <laughs> Balky goes, exactly. <laughs> he says, literally translated, it means when a man is rinsing out his underwear, don't drop by. Which I'm not sure that has anything to Which, do with this situation at the moment. I don't know what that means. And uh, neither does Larry, because yeah. he says, is there a point to this? <laughs> and apparently the point is what Balky says next. He says, you should tell Jennifer how you really feel. I have no idea how, what, how that may <laughs> saying uh, meant that. But, yeah. and but he should tell Jennifer how he really feels. He should, obviously. We're yes. all thinking that. But Larry says, no, Jennifer's a woman of the 90s. I am a man of the 90s. Are you a man of the 90s? Ah, ah, Balky says. He throws ah, his head back. Ah. He goes, are you a man of the 90s? Ah. Are you a man of the ah. 90s? Are you, ah. are you, are you, are you a man of the 90s? No, no, I'm not. Balky says, finally, <laughs> after thinking of it, because he's not. And then he goes, Balky, uh, Larry he sends, sends him to him his, his room. room. Until he is a man of the 90s. And Balky's like, that seems fair. <laughs> and walks away defeated. And uh, Larry walks back over to Jennifer, who, uh, by the Didn't way, hear has any of heard, that. hasn't heard a word of anything no. that just happened. She's too far away. And, the and they just cut back to her. She's just standing there yeah. waiting, st- sitting around like yeah. completely oblivious. It's hilarious. So they're back in the conversation. Uh, and she says, we've been seeing each other for three years. Larry says, yes. And she says, and I was wondering how you might feel about us dating other people. Oh, boy. And Larry obviously is affected, but he's trying not to show it. He says, other people? Well, I guess that would be all right. Oh, no, what are you I doing, guess. Larry? What are you doing, Larry? And even Jennifer's like, it would? <laughs> and she's like focused and trying to read his, what he's really feeling. And she said, maybe I'm not making myself clear. I don't just mean one date with one person. It could be several dates with one person or one date with several people or several dates with several people. <laughs> there are several possibilities. What do you think? And Larry stumbles a little bit. He says, uh, if you think that's a good idea, oh, so no. do I. He oh, just, boy. He's just trying to be accommodating. He's trying to please her and yeah. like give her some room. And but they're both playing was, opposite but, yes, games with each other. They're playing games with yeah. each other, yes, about their feelings. Like, And Jennifer tries again. She says, so you're saying that it wouldn't bother you if we both dated other people? Larry says, bother? No, no, it wouldn't bother me oh. if it wouldn't bother oh, you. Oh, boy, that's it. These games are painful. But see, but in Larry's defense... He, this line, it wouldn't bother me if it wouldn't bother you. All Jennifer had to say it right there is, it me, does Larry. bother me, yes, but she doesn't but she say doesn't it either. Let on. We never she's know how like, Jennifer is sure? feeling about she's any of this. She's asking a lot from him, but she's not offering she's much not except giving anything. Yeah. these games. You know? He's supposed to read her, her she's his She's not using I statements. Shh. I feel like. Well, that, yeah. those statements didn't exist in 1990, yeah. apparently. I so feel like we she's should. She's like, you sure? And Larry's like, positive. positive. She goes, well, okay. And then she flips. Then it turns. She says, how about this? I don't think we should see each other at all. And he's just stunned and it's silence. And she just says, goodbye, oh Larry. My God. You hear the whole audience. And she like go. huffs and storms out. You hear the whole audience gasp and go, That's not Aww. fair of her. No. And no, not he nice was, of her. He, because he thought he was saying what she wanted to right, hear. Right, and she's not even saying what she really wants to and say. And she's not saying what she really means. She's playing these games. It's a test. It's wrong. It's Look, the, I'm no relationship expert, but this doesn't feel both right. these people need <laughs> counseling. Anyways, Larry has just been heartbroken, and Bucky slowly walks out of this room with a cocky look on his face and another toy in his hand old school toy remember these toys it's the cup with the string and a ball and you, it's uh, a ball in a cup so you listener, have to before, swing it before even silly putty this is the toys people had was trying you had a stick yes. and you had an upturned a, cup yeah. at the top of the stick and then tied to the stick with a piece of string long piece of string was a ball was tethered to this cup tethered yes. to the cup and you had to like flip the stick to send the ball flying and, and try to catch, catch it. it very hard in the cup, but it's the ball's easy. on a string, so it goes all over the place. It's not, and even he's doing it here and he doesn't catch it. Like yeah. the ball just goes, it's so hard. It's, I don't know how you do it. You cup gotta and like ball. cup and ball. Yes, this is like a <laughs> like a medieval game uh, yeah. that's still like, like yeah. So he, I don't know where he has these toys, yeah. why he had these toys. Anyways, why is he all cocky? Because he walks over. He says, I know I'm just a simple meepy old boy and I may never be a man in my Nikes. <laughs> I've made it my he Nikes. He meant to say a man, man of the 90s. <laughs> I like that. 
He goes, but from where I'm standing, and then he hops back into that cousin Bartok, California accent, and he goes, you're looking at taillights, dude. It's kind of random. Just so random. Uh, but I remember cousin Bartok. He was great. And then Larry's like, oh, no, I just got dumped. He got He's dumped on, on his face. The scene fades And to black. he is confused what happened. It took a turn. End of act one. He's Listen. very confused, as he should be, because Jennifer's playing games. Listener, before we get to act two, you can join this conversation. We'd love to meet you, and you can meet other listeners of the podcast, fans of Perfect Strangers in our Facebook group. There's a link in the episode description. And I post threads uh, ahead of time of every episode we're going to record. You could go watch it on freebie. Leave your questions, comments, concerns, uh, and observations, and we will use them in the show. Uh, it's one of my favorite parts of the show is the listener comments. It's all right there. Facebook group. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Okay. Uh, act two. Act two. Let's get act two. Some time has passed, apparently. Some time. We're going to find out how much time in a minute, but sometime we're in the future a little bit, and Larry is in his, like, pajamas bathrobe and he's sitting at the window the window with no fire escape anymore yeah where there's a stained glass in the background yeah, from like, some church and balconies right. with umbrellas we've Very seen weird. that before yeah. we've seen yeah not only is his bathroom he has a five o'clock shadow how he, long does he's this take unshaven yeah. he, Uncapped. his, his hair, hair is, all messy. is tousled he's like he's been hasn't showered or slept in a while and then we hear he's, the sound of a car pulling away in the street. He's peeping with some binoculars. And he's got binoculars at the window, and he says, there they go again. And he says, it's been 14 days. Oh, my God, it's been two weeks. And Jennifer's gone out with Bill 14 times. That's aggressive. 14, every day. Every day since they broke up. He said, you'd think Seems by now much. she'd be sick of getting in and out of that Porsche. Oh, oh Bill's got some money. So he's fancy. Oh, you heard that sound of that engine. That's sound why like she's a going car. out with him 14 she's days. She's like, yeah, I'll get in your Porsche again. Is she doing this on purpose to get under Larry's skin? I don't know. And Balky tries to get him away from the window to distract him. He says, let's go get some sky high Sundays. Larry says, nope, I want to be here when they get back. And then Balky has had it. He goes, cousin, enough is too much. <laughs> Instead of enough is enough. He's turned into an all all out stalker at this point. Yeah. Just watching him come in and out. They go over to the living room and we find out that Larry hasn't left the apartment in two weeks. And he tells Belki, I have no reason to leave. Life outside this apartment is meaningless. Life inside the apartment is meaningless. But my pajamas are here. <laughs> yeah, it's a valid point. Uh, so then Balky like ushers him over to the couch, tells him to sit. And he says, my mama done told me there are two times in life when you've got to tell people what your true feelings oh, are. Mama Bartokomus advice. Okay. One is when someone is sticking a sharp thing in your ear, <laughs> then you say, please take that sharp thing out of my ear. Fair enough. <laughs> and the other is when you love someone and then you say, I love you. It's important not to get the two mixed up. It is important not to get the two mixed up, which is kind of a funny yeah. one. Please take that sharp thing out, out of, of my, my ear. ear. Hey, that's good advice. Let's back up a minute. He started by saying, my mama done told me. I thought, and then he takes a pause. And I thought he was either going to sing like an Elvis song or yeah. like a blues song at this point. But this is a line from a classic American song called Blues in the Night which was written for a film called Blues in the Night in 1941. My mama told me. But I feel like it's been used in around. many songs. I thought it was, yeah. was going to be shop around, but that's my mama told me. You better shop around. <laughs> uh, but he basically, Balky is telling Larry again, tell her you love her. And he's so pathetic. And he gets up and he goes, I can't. If I tell her she'll, I love her, she'll reject me again. He can't stand the pain. First, he tells Balky, you're my friend. You won't do or say anything that reminds me of that nameless, nameless blonde. blonde woman. And Bucky's like, who are we talking about? <laughs> and Larry goes, Jennifer. <laughs> Balky says, Jennifer. But Larry goes, no. no! It scares him. And he start like, Balky jumps and he's like, and Larry says, don't say her name. Just promise me you won't mention her name again. And Balky's like, promise me you'll never scare me like that again. <laughs> I give him a jump. And they both say, okay, okay I promise. I promise. And then that's when Larry gets up. He goes, okay, I'll be in my room destroying 
the things uh, that remind me of her. He goes, I'll start by destroying all her love letters. And he starts walking and he stops and realizes, oh, God, she never wrote me any love letters. Just at the same time when the audience is wondering love Love letters, letters, she doesn't even act like she loves you. Is she really into him? She never wrote him one love letter? Come on. Come on. No. No. We just live upstairs. So then he cries his way back to the bedroom. And then there is a knock at the door. Larry's out of the seat now. And Balky opens it and it's Marianne. And she has come to talk to Balky because Bill told her that he's taking Jennifer to Shafino. Oh, Shafino. Sounds fancy. And Balky's like, oh, I love that restaurant. And he goes out. He says this something about the snails and the puff pastry. You poke them and they go walking, walking, walking. They're serving live snails. And they're, yeah, it's just like, like his, a um, theme, live It's bait. like his egg rolls that he yeah. made earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Marianne wants him to focus. So she grabs his face <laughs> by the cheeks. He says, Balky, Bill is going to ask Jennifer to marry him. Oh, no. And Balky goes, Big sticky, big sticky. And then he's like, oh, oh pardon my Miposi. Yeah. Like he said, like a horrible Something swear terrible. word in Miposi. It just, but I love that. It just, he blurts it out. Big sticky, big sticky. Like, oh man, it's he so goes, funny. Pardon my Miposi. I can't let this happen. I have to get cousin Larry to that restaurant. And Marion goes, and then what will you do? And Balky goes, mm, I don't know. Maybe taking a movie. Ah, ah. I was thinking about it afterwards. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha. All right, so then we do our normal scene transition. Yeah, crossfade. We get an establishing shot. To an establishing of shot a, of a Shafino. Of a restaurant, but yeah. it's also an establishing shot we've seen before of other places with different names superimposed over the awning. Is it now? I think this was in another episode. It was. Another it fancy was. restaurant they've been to. Yes. Uh, this is interesting compositing because the Shafino is like behind the street sign, so they really have to go in there. Yeah. Now. Be really careful with the placement. It's uh, so then okay. we go inside Shafino, uh, and that's probably the same set we've seen before too. And in the foreground, you clearly see Bill and Jennifer having a romantic a meal. They're like holding They're hands holding across the hands. table. It's like a very cliche and fancy you, restaurant. Right behind them is like the maitre d and the podium where you check yeah. in. It's not far. It's not far. But they're not looking that way right. as Balky and Larry walk in, all dressed up, and Larry's in a suit and Balky's in. Fancy Meposian outfit. Uh, he goes, Bartaku was party of two. Uh, and Larry is glad that he talked him into this, saying he feels better already. Uh, but Balky has to play this game now Where is he? to get Larry to his table without him turning to see Jennifer and Bill, who are sitting right there. But yeah, just like a few feet in front of him to the right. Yeah. Uh, but uh, he, 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 he doesn't. He, so he, he doesn't grabs his him. face and like turns him. The other way. There's some fun physical comedy yeah. here as he like, uh, yeah, grabs his face and takes him. T- they, the maitre d' showing him his table, but he makes him take the long way around that goes to the back of the yeah. thing. He's like, oh, look at this view. It's beautiful. Look at the view. And then they, I love this. They look walk this over painting. to this painting. Yeah. He goes, oh, my God, is that a real oil painting? And he, Balky scratches the painting. Scratches and the it with his looks fingernails. At his finger. He's like, oh, yeah, that's a real painting. He goes, oh, there's, there's raw that. umber in the <laughs> foreground there's there. Raw, that's a color. He does his colors. Then there's a whole dessert tray. He's like, oh, look at these desserts. Uh, another funny line here. He goes, oh, cousin, look, they have your favorite lemon merengue pie. Yeah, meringue. He meringue pronounces pie meringue, meringue like meringue the dance. The dance and the music. And so then they finally get to their table, which is uh, they went like the long way around. Balky makes sure that Larry's sitting with his back facing oh, yeah, yeah. Jennifer, Jennifer and Mary. Bill because he's about to sit the other way. And then Larry's Balky's like, oh, no, I got to sit over here. And then, so Larry's sitting with his back to them and he's feeling good. He's like, this is nice. And he opens the menu and he's looking around the restaurant. He goes, absolutely nothing here reminds me of that nameless blonde woman. And then he takes a quick glance behind him and he turns back and he goes, except possibly for Jennifer sitting over there with her boyfriend. <laughs> and then you see one of her Marklin Baker face switch yeah. as he realizes and Balky realizes, like when he sees Bucky her, he turns eyes. back and he's like, oh. Uh, once he says that he's like oh my eyes god bug up, he just said it face. casually before yeah. he even realized what he was saying and then Balky to hide puts on glasses and like lifts up his menu yeah. he's trying to hide behind his menu and then Larry uh, slowly staring at Balky uh, looks at him moves things across the table that are in front of him he moves his cup aside and the dishes in fact he moves this one coffee cup so hard it flies off the table teacup, yeah. it's a teacup and you hear it crash and it's hilarious and, and he, breaks, gra- he yeah. grabs his menu and he's crawling up the table getting closer 
And to to Balky. Yes. <laughs> Uh, and then Balky's like, cousin, uh, you're, you're not going to get annoyed with me, are you? And Larry, at this point, is all the way in his face, and he grabs him and he's like, oh, I'm not going to get annoyed with you. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> no, well, first he says, I'm not going to get annoyed. Oh, Balky's like, says, oh, that's, oh good. that's good. And Larry says, I'm going to kill you. Oh, that's, oh, that's bad. bad. <laughs> and, he, and Larry grabs his shirt or tie or whatever and pulls him close. And he goes, I'm leaving. And then Balky's some, like, some great no. Physical you, comedy coming yeah, up. then we start a, a little run of physical comedy. Yeah. Balky says, no, you can't leave. And Larry says, you can't stop me. And he starts stomping away. And Balky grabs him from behind around the around the chest or whatever. Around and the waist. The and Larry waist. just keeps walking, dragging Balky dragging behind him, him all the way and out. They, all the way out of the restaurant. We and see like, them leave clear. Other people see this commotion, but apparently Larry, uh, Je- Jennifer and Bill have not yeah, noticed anything. Yeah, this whole thing. People are looking to see what the commotion is, but Bill and Jennifer are sitting yeah. right there. Have not. They're so madly in, into each other. They have not noticed the thing. The next thing we see is Balky and Larry coming in. Except this time, Balky has Larry in a headlock yeah. and is dragging him back into yeah. the room. And he said, "You have to tell that nameless blonde woman how you feel about her. If you don't, you will regret it for the rest of your life." And he he like squeezes his <laughs> yes. head with every to word em- to emphasize. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and, then, and then Larry does the great distraction that always works. He goes, oh, look, is that Wayne Newton? And Balky goes, goes, Wayne! <laughs> and uh, Larry runs out and Balky chases after him. And more and reaction shots of people going, what is going on Everybody, over there? all the people except Jennifer and except Bill. Except Jennifer yeah. and Bill. And then what do we see? Then we see so Balky walk back in and carrying... Larry horizontally on across his shoulders. His shoulders. As Larry is stiff, so it's like a T. Stiff as a board. But Larry during... just has his arms crossed yeah. like he's he's uh, protesting all yeah. of this as Balky is carrying Larry. It's like a T carry. He's just on like his on his side. And now he just walks right up to B- B- Bill and Jennifer and stands there. And the audience is laughing, 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 laughing. And they're just looking at each other. They're looking at Balky and Larry. Uh, and then uh, Belky has the great line, "Who had the cousin Larry?" <laughs> <laughs> Delivering like, who cousin ordered Larry. this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so Jennifer is like, so funny. "What are you doing here?" And then Larry sort of like really smoothly like hops off. Yeah, he just like pops his shoulders off, and lands on his feet. Yeah, lands <laughs> on his feet. And uh, Balky tells Jennifer that cousin Larry has something he wants to tell her. And Bill's like, uh, we were in the middle of a private moment. And Balky, I love this, goes, eat your broccoli. Eat your yes, broccoli. And, <laughs> and then steps around, pushing uh, Larry towards Jennifer. And, he's, and then Larry goes, well, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, God. It's so hard to watch. And Balky tries to help him. And he steps in. He goes, Jennifer, what he wants to tell you is. And then Jennifer won't let Balky say anything. She just keeps saying, Balky, Balky. And of course, it's that same game that he usually plays with Larry, yeah. where he's, he's like, like, Let me just, I Jennifer, let me just, I, I just want to tell it, Balky, Balky, just, 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 just one thing, <laughs> Balky, Balky, Balky. And then he, he, she wins. Yeah. He quiets down and, um, she says, if Larry has something to say, let him say okay, that's a, Okay, that's, I can, that's a fair I, I can understand. It's a fair reason. request. Yeah. And then again, <laughs> Larry just goes, uh, 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 and Bucky smacks him in the back of the <laughs> head to jumpstart yeah. him. And he goes, Jennifer, <laughs> this, and he, I don't understand what he said here. Oh, no, this is funny. He goes, Jennifer, this isn't easy for me to say, but. Please take that sharp thing out of my ear. <laughs> and then Larry Great realizes, color. "Go, oh, I said the other thing," and he looks at Bucky. He's like, horrified. Oh, no. His He's face like, is like because horrified. Bucky said it's very important not to mix yeah, those two. Yeah, and up. he did and it. He goes, "Please take that sharp thing out of my ear." And yeah, he looks so at funny. Balky horrified. Balky just spins him right back He's around like, to face yeah, Jennifer Balky again. Balky like points at his heart. He goes, "Just speak from yeah. the heart. Turn around." So he says. There's something I've been meaning to tell you, and I wanted to tell you the first time I saw you in the health club, and then we started dating, and I wanted to tell you again. And then a couple of weeks ago when you came down, I really wanted to tell you, but I didn't. So I'm telling you now. And he says, I'm telling you now as and it's the he, conclusive like, statement. And then he steps like he said back it. and smiles. He's like, I'm tell- I did it. He like goes, I'm done. telling you now. And Jennifer's and like, like, what are you telling what me? What are you telling me? <laughs> In his head, he already yeah. said. <laughs> and great. then very like painfully kind of, it takes a lot for him to get the words out. And Marklin Baker does such a brilliant job. Yeah. yeah. He says, Jennifer, 
I love you. Oh. And Jennifer says, you do? And oh. she's suddenly all melty and smiley. And, and he the says, whole audience yes, melts I love goes, you. Oh, so good. And I don't want you going out with other guys. Finally, the truth, real feelings have erupted and come out finally. Okay, pause here for one little note. Yeah, finally, they're actually like speaking their feelings. I mean, it's a good moment. And her, even her reaction is like, it's well acted where you could see a little in her eyes. And she's like, this is what she's been. For once, you see some emotion. This is what she's waiting for. But when he said, I love you, I was like, oh my God, Larry. He said it just in front of all these strangers and Bill. Okay. Also, uh-huh. there's just like one technical um, he has a little inconsistency, inconsistency possibly, here. Possibly. He says, I wanted to tell you the first time I saw you in the health club, but if these were today times. If you remember when they met. We would go back yeah. and pull up that episode. They didn't first meet she at the club. She showed up at Twink Cassetti's first. She, she showed up she because Valky had left his ID or something yes, or something. And she couldn't return it, form. and he went gaga right there. And then they went to the club. But to That's his... the whole reason he went to the club with Valky was because she yeah. came into the store first. That's right. That's all right. He's uh, anyway. the health club scene was also hilarious. Yeah. Um, okay. And, so, so and so Bill is just sitting there, and he goes, "Well, that's nice, but I just asked Jennifer." To marry me. And Larry goes, boy, boy he's, he's fast. fast. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of funny reaction. And then uh, he Bill lays it on and gives him his pitch, right? He goes, Jennifer, if you say yes to me, you'll never want for anything. You'll have a magnificent home. All the money you'll ever need. And then this is hilarious. He looks at Larry. He looks back at her. He goes, and beautiful children. Be- oh, you no. Know, he says beautiful children. <laughs> beautiful children. Meaning <laughs> Emphasis whatever on the kids beautiful. you have with this guy. With that, I mean, he's a good looking guy and he's not wrong. And Mark Lynn Baker's have, face reacts. I was like, so funny. Oof, they would have beautiful children. Uh, you know, solid pitch bill. Sounds kind of boring, but uh, you take your shot. And well, he's not done trying not yet. Done a shot. He says, here's the ring, sweetheart. And he pulls out a this box, a ring box. He says, it's yours if you'll say yes. And he opens the box and what's inside. Well, they cut to a close up and it's all it's a huge rock and huge multiple sparkly things diamond on it. ring. The three of them lean in to look at it and simultaneously go. Oh, oh my, my Lord. Lord. <laughs> all three, Balky, Larry yeah. and Jennifer. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. In unison. And then Balky's like, all right, cousin, you're up next. And he mixes his sports metaphors oh, here. Yeah. And Katie goes, this. take your best shot. It's the bottom of the night. Two outs. The bases are loaded. You got two strikes against you, cousin. It's time to <laughs> kick it through the uprights. That's and like t- every <laughs> sport. But he mixed his football and baseball. And, ba- and bowling. Well, well yeah. No, it's baseball. It's oh, baseball, baseball, oh, baseball, baseball. Oh, yeah. Bottom of the I was ninth. thinking the other strike. Yeah. Two strikes. That's bases much loaded. But then this is my favorite. He turns Larry around and then he just goes, go, baby, go, baby, go. He's trying to be his hype man. Take your best shot. It's Take also your best basketball. Shot. Oh, yeah. But he's trying to pump it up. And now it's time for Larry to uh, deliver his pitch on Shark Tank. And he says, Jennifer, I can't promise you a magnificent home or all the money you'll ever need. And there's a good chance our children will be short. <laughs> <That's> great. <laughs> but I want you to know nobody's going to love you as much as I do. So I think it would be just really good. <laughs> That's great. Also. If you married me. Oh, my God. What? He oh just my proposed. God. I love the delight delivery. And he's like, I, it would just be really good. 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 If you married, married me. And to everyone's surprise, without blinking an eye. Jennifer agrees. She says, yes, yes Larry, I'll, I'll marry you. Well, oh, my Jan- God. Larry's a little surprised. He yes. says, you will? Yes. And she says, I love you, too. Yes, As Larry, I love you. And the audience and goes. They- oh, uh, wow. Wow. Two huge things just happened in, in front of strangers in a public in a public place. And then they kiss. But you know what? Like, I the acting is still not believable for me because. <laughs> Like they, this whole episode is set up just on this very shallow, like all we know is it's been three years and that's it. That's they're all like you playing need to games know. with each other. We don't know like years. what's happened in the three years. What does she love about him? I'm curious. And what does he love about her? Like, where is that love coming that's what from? I love anyway, about you, Larry. Just, I mean, they, occasionally there's a line or two here and yeah. there, Blair, but yeah, she gives, she reveals nothing. Right. She keeps things very close. She just to says, yes. Yes, She's like, yes, with Bill sitting right there and a portion that ring. 
Yeah. Woo. Poor Bill. I can't believe that. I was like, oh my God. This is also Bill proposed huge. after 14 dates. It's aggressive. 14 days. They used to, but they have four years of history and then in oh, college. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. That's crazy. So anyway, we don't see the rest of that scene. It's just happy. They're engaged, apparently. Uh, the next thing we see, we're back in their apartment, and Balky and Larry are coming back from this dinner uh, in the middle of an argument, and Larry says, I know it was a horrible night for him, but Bill asked Jennifer out to dinner. He should have paid the check. Oh, my God. So wait, what? Did he pay the check, and he didn't oh want to? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> And Bucky's like, cousin, let it go. You, you got, got the, the girl. girl. And he's, and he's and like, then he's happy. You're right. He's smiling. He's yeah. feeling good. We hear lesson time music. Things went Larry's way. And Larry says, Balky, this is the most wonderful night of my life. Jennifer loves me as much as I love her. And I never would have found that out if it weren't for you. Well, you could have just asked her, Larry. Yeah. And told her. Well, she could have just asked him yeah. too, to begin with. So anyway, he says to Balky, thank you. And Balky says, uh, you're welcome. I couldn't be happier for you. He says, you are going to be married to Jennifer for the rest of your life. Larry's like, yeah, it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be great. And Balky's like, yeah, because just think of it. Every hour of every day for the rest of your life, you will have the joy of knowing you have someone to take care of. <laughs> every minute every of every minute hour of every. of every day for the rest of your life, you'll have someone who depends on you. Uh, and Larry starts to look a little bit weird someone now. Someone who needs you. <laughs> someone whose very happiness rests in your hands. As the lesson time music is playing still. And then Larry just like faints and falls over and roll credits. Yep. Yeah, Larry got lightheaded thinking about the lifetime he's going to spend. They are engaged. They are engaged. Larry That's crazy. All right, before Jennifer. we get into a couple of things here, listener, I want to let you know, you want some cool hipster niche swag, yes. uh, visit our Tee Public shop, danceofjoypod.com slash shop, where you can get hoodies, tote bags, coffee mugs, cell phone cases, all with the Dance of Joy logo, uh, and uh, maybe stickers. some other fun things. Stickers. Uh, the uh, we Notebooks. Be, it's a great way to help promote the show and wear something cool. Yeah. And start a conversation. Do, um, it. do it now. Do it. Do it. Okay. Uh, so actually, uh, this episode was the 100th episode filmed. Oh, really? We just had our 100th episode. We did. We, we had, were a couple ahead because of our season break specials. Yeah. yeah. But it was but it was the 99th to air. Oh. It was one of those they aired them out uh, of order. So the next one is actually but it was 100th episode 100. One that they filmed. Okay. Um, We're at 100 episodes in of Perfect Strangers. Yeah. Uh let's talk about some of these we had two key uh guest cast. Is that what we call them? Guest cast members. Sure. <laughs> the first one is uh the guy who played the the host and the restaurant, Brian Carpenter. Yeah, he didn't really have this a lot was, to do. This was early in his career, but he later went on to be on many shows. Uh, Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, Roswell, Babylon 5, Ooh. Chicago Hope, yeah. Beverly Hills, 920, yeah. Desperate Housewives. Whoa. So he, he later went on to do a lot of things. And then Bill, Bill Madden. Yes. Not John Madden was played by David Cedarholm, who uh, was a soap guy. Okay, yeah, he had a kind of a soap, very face, soap opera like face. Ryan's Hope face. was the soap opera, okay. but he's been on Friends on an episode. Uh, oh, and Friends, he's, and he's in the episode where he's in the coma, and Phoebe uh, and Monica both uh, are both trying to get, trying to get him with guy. the coma guy. He's mm. the coma guy on Friends, but yeah, but handsome looking dude. Uh, okay, okay, so what do you look, think of well, this episode? Like, it's weirdly written, but two, like, a huge thing happens. This is a huge change. A huge thing, the but there were so many weird things that <laughs> had nothing to do with that that were prominent in this episode when, where they could have removed those and put more relevant things to the romance in the episode. Like, like the whole egg roll thing yeah, in the, the beginning. Yeah, the opening the snail callback of yeah. the thing. Uh, yeah. And then he's just in a chef's outfit the whole episode. I like that and he's then, taking like, cooking the, classes. Um, huh? I like that he's taking cooking classes. Is that ever yeah. going to pan out? It's going to be a chef. Maybe. 
Um, and then there was another thing that happened a couple of times. What was the other theme here? Well, uh, there's the, the also the uh, the dichotomy of Balky and Marianne's relationship where they're clearly just straightforward with each other. Yeah. While these two are just playing games, even though their friends are telling them to be straightforward. Oh, and like the weird, like the the old toys. Oh, yeah. Him coming out with the silly two different putty, toys, silly and putty and ball and cup. Like just so do something. All with of his that hands. was like a little bit distracting from what was going on. Um, but they, I feel like they could have removed those and put m- more more dialogue or jokes relevant to the story. Actually, on the other hand, it does like kind of work that the, the way the two of them are that they yeah. literally had to be f- force their hands to tell them what they feel about each other. Yeah, in a strange way. And Balky and Larry were just like, just tell them, just tell them, ask them, whatever. I mean, big win. I mean, sorry, Balky and Marianne. Big yeah. win for Larry beating out a, the Porsche guy with the big. But we don't know why. Ring. No, she does the thing. Like, she never, what is like, their relationship he based on? Yes. He almost got you killed several times. So many times. And uh, yeah, just uh, whatever. So many times. But okay. she does love him. I saw it in her eyes. She loves him. And they're going to get married. He's engaged. She loves him enough to have put him through two tests. Torture, in this, yes. In this that, episode. You know what? That's the lesson to take is look out for the tests. And we're not mind readers, but sometimes it doesn't make her look good. We this episode, really. Tests. She's a woman of the nineties. Is so she a woman of the nineties? That's my. That was my big takeaway of this episode: is that Balky and Marianne were like correct all the way and from the beginning. Wanted them to be straightforward, and Lena, Larry and Jennifer, uh, Lenifer, I almost Lenifer. Said, Larry it's and like Jennifer, Larry and Jennifer yeah. both <laughs> were playing games, trying to get the other person to. I don't know. Larry was trying to please Jennifer. Jennifer was trying to trick Larry. Like it was all all over you know the place. What? But they like, kind of deserve each other. They you deserve think, each you other. Think about it, it's but all of, of this mess could yes. have been avoided if Jennifer had just listened to Marianne and Bell. Uh, the episode Larry would have been five minutes long. But then there would be no episode, no long. conflict. This is before right. people would ship people and say and combine their names like Lenifer. Oh yeah. But the, absolutely, if this is out now. People would be like. We're hashtag Lenifer. Come on, go get her. Malky <laughs> or Marianne. Marianne and Malky will be Malky. Balky Ann. Lenifer. Yeah. Because you have Benifer. So, so that's what it was. I mean, yeah. there was some it's funny a, physical, the, some a, mild physical comedy a in the restaurant. way to get to it, though, I thought for that sure. some of the jokes and gags were like out of place and stood alone and just random. I did like the physical comedy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a lot of like random things and some there. good word. There's some good wordplay that made me laugh that Balkan did. A Meposian thing that wasn't relevant to anything. I mean, I love nineties. I would have guessed twenty. Yeah, that was late a good, 20s yeah. Stops. <laughs> this is kind Woman of, of the nineties, man of the nineties. <laughs> but so she wasn't a woman of the nineties. She wanted Larry she to be was up very front. traditional. Yes, she, she wanted was very Larry traditional. to say no. Yes, to you tell her what to me. Yes, to tell her what to do you and cannot, say you belong to me. You cannot. He was a man. He was doing his best to be a man in the nineties. He was being very open and sensitive and to her res- feelings. Yeah, and, and trying to anticipate her feelings. Yeah. But he, you don't see this. Little did he know that she, he she wants him to take control. Yeah, or I think whatever. Larry comes out on top in this. Place. Oh, yeah, yeah, she doesn't look good. That's my opinion. My opinion. Um, <laughs> what did the listeners think? What's their all right. opinion? We they good. had a lot of thoughts. This should cousin, be great. Listener, listener, cousin Nicole Stoner writes. Much like the number of times the cousins end up in jail or cause property damage to the apartment, I've noticed a track record on this show of how many times yeah. those two have caused oh, yeah. a scene at a restaurant. I mean, they had a brawl Very, in one. Yeah. They busted up a whole bar. They're always in public uh, causing scenes. Yeah. It's great. Who were they? Dolly Parton they were trying yeah, to? They, yeah, so they wrecked a bunch of things trying to sneak a picture of not Dolly Parton. Uh, but yeah, and to do like a proposal in public like that is also yeah. is crazy. I was not expecting that, to be fair. So. Right. And he didn't have a ring or nothing. <laughs> I Well, he wasn't ready. It just kind of like came out. Yeah. He's like, I think it would be really good. Okay. Here comes <laughs> cousin, listener cousin, John Adama, always insightful, who writes, let me say these two deserve each Absolutely. other. Absolutely. Many shows deteriorate quickly after the leads get together. Mm-hmm. Get smart. Oh. Moonlighting. Big Bang Theory. That's often because... The will they won't they suspense is gone and we're left watching a couple either fight internally or become one couple instead of two characters. Yep, yep. Kind of office kind of suffered that a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. 
And he writes, I have no fear of that happening here because there was never a will they won't <laughs> get relationship. <laughs> good point. Really, it was a why would they why more than that, anything yes. else. Why That's what I've been saying, happening? too. Yes. Logically, it makes sense. They've been dating for years, and I'm sure the writers saw lots of story opportunities to breathe new life into the show. Logically, it makes sense. Emotionally, it's nonsensical. <laughs> well exactly. Well put. Well put. <laughs> He writes, I'm never crazy about episodes where the focus isn't on the guy's relationship as in to each other. Um, still, the madness of the restaurant and possible story arc make me like it more than I'd expect. He gives it a B. All right. That's yeah. Fair. Yeah. It's a big thing that happened. Then we have listener cousin Pam Hitchcock, who writes, Jennifer really had to get Larry's permission to go on a date when there's no established <laughs> relationship between them. <laughs> Apparently, she can manipulate as well as Larry. Yeah, yep, they, they deserve, deserve each, each other. other. Would Jennifer have said yes to Bill's proposal if Larry hadn't proposed? I think she would have. Oh, my have. God. What had happened if Larry was like, I love you, and, and that's like, kind of it? Uh, she's like, don't want you to late. marry him, uh, and I'm just going to stop there. I mean, that's a good question. She says, I didn't care much for the episode, but at least it's better than the last two. Ouch. <laughs> Six out of ten Baba Stickies. Oh, okay. Not f- last episode was like ten Baba Stickies. Pizzi Fitziki. Pizzi. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon my meposium. <laughs> and finally, we have listener cousin Whitney Smith. She uh, found the episode hilarious, extremely hilarious, what she wrote, and she thinks it's because it was because of Marklin Baker. He was great. His because facial he was expressions frantic, are his amazing. His panicky faces. Yeah, his switching. Uh, a lot of Larry splaining in this episode yeah. and all his buggy eyed faces. Uh, she just loved all the Larry stuff. So enjoyed it for that. Uh, also, cousin Whitney Smith points out some other things about this episode, despite its shortcomings. <laughs> Things that she enjoyed uh, and found funny. The beginning cookie part. The the, the fact that Larry got so close, but then Balky snatches it and throws it. Cookie was snatched. Into the room, (laughs) leaving Larry still not accomplishing his goal. Yeah. She said, I don't know why, but this part had me dying laughing, even even having me backing it up quite a few times (laughs) to watch it again. (laughs) Um, she also found very funny that cutaway that we spoke about that when they cut back to the guy's apartment, he's like still explaining the women of the nineties stuff. Uh, and then first it focuses on Larry, the camera, then it pans out and we see Balky step in with an ice pack with that cartoony ice pack. Yeah. Uh, and then Balky saying, please explain it any other way. She found that very funny. Also, uh, she mentions, uh, the Miposian chant. Who doesn't love a good Mipo? Oh, me- sorry, the Miposian rant. At one we point, got Balky got, rant. we yeah. had a chant and a rant. Oh, yeah, he walks away kind of mumbling under yeah. his breath to himself in Miposian. Yeah, yeah. Swearing, peak sticky, peak sticky. And she says, I just love when Balky does that. Yeah, that's also <laughs> great. Don't be ridiculous was not said. Of course I have. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> and no physical Dimitri stuff sheep appearance, but the photo of Dimitri. Uh, that we saw in, a couple episodes uh, ago. The bookcase. Yeah. yeah that was in so the kitchen. No framed photos of the girls. The no, girls have, have framed yes. photos of the guys. The guys have a framed photo of Dimitri. Yes. Dimitri has framed photos of the girls. The girls. That's oh, how okay, it should okay. work. It's a triangle. Should yes. Have had Dimitri that's true. there with pictures of the that's little true. pictures. That would have been so funny. The a whole shelf. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's talk about Perfect Strangers Today or PS Today, which is the segment of this show that we in which we discuss, could this episode hold up today? Could we remake it? Are there any issues? Uh, what things would have to change? What are your thoughts? I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a straightforward story of uh, two people who can't uh, come to grips with their feelings for each other and are forced into uh, love. Yeah. Well, not forced, forced into declaring love. I think in most part, probably people still play games. Up. Like people that, yeah. still play these mind games. The games would be a little bit different, but, and you could do it over the phone and stuff yeah. like with, you know, and, uh, but again, it comes down to a story of, of love. And, Instead and, of and, uh, silly proposals. putty and ball and cup, Belky would have like a fidget spinner and yeah. like those bubble popping silicone things. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or like he could walk in with like a VR headset yeah. like he's playing a game or something. something. Just like random Updated, things. Yeah. 
Uh, but Bill could still have a Porsche and still have a big house. Yeah. Um, he would have a Tesla. Yeah, he might have a de- uh, a Tesla that drives itself, parks yeah. itself. I, you know what? It's kind of ti- it's kind up, of timeless. Yeah. It's ti- and it's it's like just the fact that you're just getting to the engagement, the proposal. They're engaged, and what that means. So that was such a like blah proposal, though. <laughs> just came out of nowhere. But that is a good question. If he did say that, would you been like, "No, nah, I'm going with this guy"? Yeah, uh, probably not because the show is still running into the beginning of the season. So pretty high PS today yeah, score. You could do it again. Yeah, you could do it again. And it's <laughs> unfortunate, like men and women's relationships. Have they progressed? Really? I feel like today Ooh. people would favor upfront? being more upfront. I don't know. There's still that thing the about the younger generation. Would. Why can't you just read my mind and, you know, yeah, say things know. and you say the other thing you mean? They you would mean the talk thing. about their love languages or whatever. Yeah. And they would use more. I feel like yeah. we should. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's kind of high. Mid Why to high. didn't Jennifer just invite Larry to have dinner with? The college friend. That's oh. what would happen in real life. They'd all have dinner. Well, well but she wasn't sure that With they were the in a relationship. Like boyfriend. he asked, oh, yeah. like asked her out on a date, and then she's like, "I'm going to test Larry with this." Is yeah, the first thought she, she had. I didn't. I didn't like Jennifer. So she either. used Bill to she, get Larry. I feel like she used. If she's going out 14 times, it feels like she was doing oh, that. Oh yeah, on purpose. She, yeah. Bill should be mad too, for sure. Bill should absolutely be mad. For sure. And uh, he should have paid for the dinner. But she manipulated, maybe used Bill to get Larry. And how much did Bill drop on that ring? He could return it. Well, he could return the ring. Is that a blood diamond also? I would ask these questions. Like, we don't need to put another diamond into But it was the 90s. They were all into blood diamonds. Yes. yes. (laughs) It was, yes. All right. That's it for this episode. Uh, Next week, we get to talk about Larry and a racehorse. What? He's got what is he Larry buys a racehorse? That should work Larry out. Larry buys a racehorse. I don't know how he got scammed into this, but we will find we out. We will find out. <coughs> is it Sea Biscuit? It's probably Sea Biscuit. Probably. No, that was way before. Anyways, uh, in the meantime, listener, if you enjoy the show and the nostalgia, you can support this show by leaving a virtual tip on our website. You can buy us a virtual coffee. Visit Dance of Joy Dance of Joy Pod.com. There is a buy us a coffee button there and we appreciate everyone's support. It all goes back in uh, to the show. And thanks to all our current and active supporters. Thank you. Thank you. Keep it coming. In the meantime, please visit us at our website, danceofjoypod.com. On that website, you can find out where all the different places where you can find our podcast and listen to us talk about perfect strangers where you can subscribe or like or leave a rating or a review. You can also press another button right on the website main page and leave us a voice message. Just press the button and talk to us. Tell us uh, what you think about Jennifer's uh, games and tactics. Or you can send us an old, good old fashioned electronic mail letter at danceofjoypod at gmail.com or you can find us on any of our social media accounts. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and IG. All of those are linked from the website as well. But Imran, what is the most important thing our listeners should do? Well, I think if you're cooking with worms, you want to give them a real nice, fine julienne. Uh, that way they don't walk away when uh, you present them on the plate. No, I don't know. No, the real thing is share this show. Tell people you <laughs> love them. <laughs> tell people. Yes, the most important thing is tell people how you feel. Don't play games. Don't play games. And uh, share this show. And share this show with a friend. Word of mouth goes a long way. We appreciate it. Uh, and just just talk about us. We, that's really all we want. Just We just want people talking about us. Please help us out. Okay, that's our show for Honest. today. Now we are so happy. Now we are so happy. We do the dance of joy. Hey, 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 hey.